Okay, so in the last video, we got it set up, so, you know, we open three, or we pick up three items, it stacks. Pick up the one, it's there, we pick up the rest of the seven, and it stacks. So we have three, or we have a stack of three and a stack of eight. So everything is going through, and as you can see, it stacks as it's supposed to. Problem is, if you recall from the previous video, when we play as a client, we go through, we pick up one item, we have one. If I pick up these other two, we have one, two, and three. So we're adding an item when we should be, and I'll also get rid of this once we fix it, when it should be actually updating our own, you know, inventory. So what we can do here is we kind of want to figure out a way to tell the client, hey, we have updated, which we already do. So we can actually remove this event here. So that was my mistake. So we're going to get rid of the update inventory widget. Like so. Okay. And once we do that, we want to try to think of a way, because we have to kind of pass down the information to our new widget, so to speak. So I've been trying to think of a couple different ways we can do this, and I do want to pass in the array. So we're going to add ahead and Change this from add item to inventory widget. Let's do add item and update inventory widget. And we're going to pass in our T array of F item data as well. So I want to go ahead and set uh, this equal to, let's do, do current inventory. And honestly, we can set this equal to a empty T array like that. So we have to rename the function like so. And then we have the option of passing in that second parameter, which we don't need to. But we're going to go ahead and pass in inventory items to it. So we have the new function, add item and update inventory widget. So let's go ahead and close down the editor and recompile and relaunch. Alrighty, so it's throwing a fit here. My guess is it because it wants a const reference. Let's set this one to be a const reference, like so, and recompile. All right, once that's done, let's go ahead and reopen the assets. Go to our character here, and we have our add item to and update inventory widget. We're gonna delete the update and delete the add item and replace it with our add item and update inventory widget. So we're going to plug that in and plug in item data like so to the uh, create inventory widget. So what we can really do here is we want to almost, I'm trying to think, we kind of want to add some logic to where we don't want to create the widget if we don't have to in order to add it. So what I was thinking, so in our inventory widget, we can have a variable here called total number of items and change it to an integer. This is going to be all the items we have, so including the stacked ones. So if we have five medkits, even though they're taking up one slot, we're going to have an item count of five. So that way we can do a comparison. So if they are they don't equal each other, then we call you know a update for example and that kind of thing. So at least that's kind of my rough thought process with it. So by default, you know, well, I don't know where I was gonna go with that, but anyways, we'll just kind of see how it goes. So we have total number of items. Every time we add an item, we go through it, and we want to do this after we add the child. So we grab our total number of items, and we increment. Like so. Now we have to do this as well. So let's go ahead and go to fill default where we call our add item. Here's our complete. We want to set total number of items to zero just to clear it out. So that way, you know, it's reset. So when we go to update, if we go through and we call update item on the inventory widget, we also want to increment our total number of items.
like so. Eventually, we're going to have to set up a way when we go to remove it, we have to decrement this as well. So this should be hopefully accessible to us. So out of curiosity, I'm just going to print it out. Let's print out a string. Let's get the total number of items. I'll just play as the server. So I pick that up. We have one. Still showing one. Then when we get to the new one, it shows two. So we have an issue here, so add inventory item. So if we have a new item, we call the onwrap. And we almost need to set it so we call this regardless. So we're going to grab this if statement here and move it outside of this if b is new item. So that way it always calls the onwrap for the server. Well, assuming it is locally like we are controlling the, uh, if we are the controlling player. So now I pick it up. We have one. Pick it up. We have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so that works. So now, before anything, we want to grab this, and we kind of want to do some checks on it. I'm just gonna break these links here to move this out of the way, and we want to get the hold it something count. Get current array count. I think that's what I called it, right? Oh, no, it's total number of items. Okay. What does current array count? Not replace, I want to find. I don't even remember if I had that in the previous video because I had tried this before. And I had some issues, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. Because it's not really needed, so if the class is invalid... Wait a minute, what am I doing here? Alright, yeah, it looks like I had a decent bit of extra stuff, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this. I think this was all from previous logic when I was doing the testing, so this should still work. So let's just confirm it real quick. Oops, did I forget to plug something up? Yes, I did. That's probably the main reason. Are you failing? Target, you, and I don't need to print you out anymore. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah. So it is adding the items correctly still. We just got to figure out the uh, call to the update. Okay. So back to where we were. We go through. We have our inventory. We don't want to call add item. Instead, we want to compare the total count. So we want to get the total count from here. So we can actually create kind of a function for this in our inventory widget. So just to kind of, we'll have it return a boolean. So let's do should update, or let's do should add, or let's do, actually let's do um should add new item, and it's going to return a boolean. Couldn't think for a second. Add new item. So it's going to return false if we are supposed to add a new item. And I mean, sorry, it's going to return true if we're supposed to add a new item and false if otherwise. We also want to have an input. And that input is going to be, we can actually get rid of this right here. It's going to be an array of, well, item data structures. So we have our input. It's going to be of item data. It's going to be an array. Let's call it uh, current inventory. Connect it. 
And here we can do our checks. So we want to do a four each. And because I just want to count it. And we want to have a local variable. So let's click on this guy. We should have scroll down. We can add a local variable and let's do it. Uh, current inventory count. I default at zero. So let's go ahead and go through and break. Or actually, we can just split this and add this to it. So current inventory count. We're going to go ahead and get it. And then we want to add the array element stack count. And then we want to set it. <clears throat> like so. Then once that's complete, we do a comparison. So we get our current array count. And if this is greater than our total number of items, then we want to return false, which this will do for us. So if our current inventory count is equal to, or for some reason less than, we, I got this backwards, we want to do a not. So this is going to be, if this is greater than this, this is going to be true. Wait a minute, I got myself confused here. So we want to do something a little bit different. Okay, so what we can actually do, sorry, I got myself confused. We can instead check and see how many new items we have. If, if that total amount is the same, then what we will do is add, or sorry, we will update. Otherwise, we add. Okay, I got myself backtracked here. So we're going to get this. We're going to get the length, and we want to compare it. So let's get our total. Uh, actually, I want to delete the current array count. That's not needed. That was old, and you can ignore it. We want to get our total number of items, but we want to set it a little bit differently. So let's go to add item. Total number of items we add. Okay, is this the only place we actually set? Yes, it is. So that's good there. We go back to there. So we should check. So if this is greater than our total number of items, if my logic here is correct, which a very good chance it couldn't be, and we want to actually do a not boolean so we can switch that and return. So if we have more elements in our array than our total number of items, then we want to, sorry, get rid of the not, my bad. Then we want to return true to add, add a new item. Otherwise, we return false. So here, let's do should add new item. Do a branch. And this branch dictates whether or not we call create or update. So if true, we want to go through and update, or sorry, add. Otherwise, if it's false, we want to update. So let's actually plug in the owning player to the, sorry, to add item to the widget and update to false and pass in our inventory items. Let's clean this up a tiny bit. Just to make it a little less ugly. And that's okay. Okay, let's see if this works. We create that like normal. We add one. We have it. We add two. We have it. Let's pick the rest up. We have all those except for the newly added item. So it's not adding the new item. So my guess is it is calling update. So let's add, look back here, let's print out a string. Pick it up, true, should add new. Pick it up, should be false, that's correct. False, that's correct. And false. Okay, so we should print out the length of this guy. It's almost as if our current inventory is not adding onto it. So one, 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 yeah, that's fine. Then we have 
Why do we have two? So does that mean with each one, I think we are actually incrementing our total number of items. I think I made a mistake there. So somewhere we are adding on. Yep, that's what we're doing. So we're adding on to total number of items, which is incorrect. So let's go to our add item. And each item that we add, are we filling default? We set that back to zero, okay. Each time we add an item, let's go to update. Ah, yes, we're updating our total number of items at the end of each update as well, which is breaking it. So in our update function, we get rid of that. And now we should be okay. So let's confirm we are okay. Pick one up. We have one. We have three. That's fine. Pick that up. We have one. Bam that. And we have that correctly. Okay, let's test on the client now. Okay, we have an empty inventory. Pick up one. We have one, two, three. We have three. And we have it working. Okay, so we finally have it updating correctly on the client as well. Out of curiosity, pick up two and then one. Okay, two and three, let's pick this up. Three and three, okay, that's good. And that all goes away just fine. We have five and three and three. Okay, so we know we are good to go. Our server has authority over our inventory. We now have it set up to where it stacks our inventory. So if we wanted to, for example, all we wanted to do was add a new item, I could duplicate this thing. Type in test, uh, heck, I'll just give it a random, I guess, image. Let's just set the uh, material to be something completely random. Let's just give it a random image. We'll do that thing, I guess. And if we want to have a new item, we just drag and drop this into the world. And bam, we have a new item. And I'm still playing as something else. There we go. So I pick that up. I have three of these now. I pick that guy up. I have that. Pick this guy up. And I now have... Nope, I do not have another item because I forgot to set the class. Actually, that is set as a med pack, so it's automatically going to go through. So let's set it as BP test. I forgot because I derived it. So I pick up two of these, one of these, and I pick it up, and we have our new item. So we have our new items just like that, effortless. So we can have multiple different types of food and all that kind of stuff, and they're all going to stack differently. So this could be, this could be something like I don't know, uh, pork chops. This could be a can of beans or whatever, and it's going to add it pretty much all the same. I'm happy with that. We're at a, I don't know, I need to save you first. I guess that's why. So we're at a uh, very good point. So we have our inventory working. It's replicating between clients and the server just fine. We're able to update our stack size, which is important, obviously. Now we just have to set it up so when we go to use it, we make, we use one of the stacks. So that is going to be it for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord down below and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.